Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. It's great to have you here. Last time out, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Maelstrom cyber psycho. This poor guy, Ellis, had been accosted by his associates and transformed into this crazed mutant bulldog bodyguard for the Totentans nightclub. Turns out the guy was one of Brick's only remaining true followers. Pretty much everybody else had thrown their hat into the ring with um, Royce taking over the Maelstrom. And so they'd kind of made an example of him and turned him into this, uh, this mindless, flesh-ripping animal to deal with their um, not-so-welcome not so, uh, not so welcome customers. Right, after the last couple of um, performances, I think it might be best for us to take a long, hard look at ourselves and try and adapt our approach to situations a little bit more intelligently, let's say. Um, the last couple of outings were... Uh, were less than optimal, let's put it that way. Now, in between episodes, I've been taking a very close look at several aspects of our build. First of all, we've got five perk points here waiting to be spent, and I've had a little bit of a recce round the different categories, and I think I know where to put them. So, I think the best thing to do is go initially to the blades panel here. Uh, obviously, this is our primary form of offense, so it makes sense to pour a few points in here. Um, I've already taken a look. I would very much like to put a point into... let me see. We've not taken Flight of the Sparrow yet, and level one of that reduces the stamina cost of all attacks with blades by 15%. Now, um, I know that we have run out of stamina a couple of times whilst we've been on the offensive. That's mainly been from sprinting around between blows, but anything we can do to save a bit of stamina is most welcome. So I'm going to take one level in that. I've also taken a look at Roaring Waters, bumping that from level one to two, which will uh, up the strong attack base damage from 15 to 20%. So that's for our strong lunging attacks. But also, I'd like to uh, put another level into offensive defense. In fact, that'll max it out. So that will bump our defensive counterattacks. So those counterattacks that you can pull off um, when blocking just as they're about to strike you, that'll bump it from two to three times base damage. Nice. Okay, uh, we've got a couple of perk points left over, and uh, I've taken a look at cool and intelligence for those. So let's take a look at cool. I'd like to put that one into the... I don't know how I've managed to ignore it, but I've, I've completely ignored the base perk in stealth, silent and deadly. Uh, increases stealth damage by 15%. How have I been ignoring that for so long? And then over to intelligence... Uh, into Breach Protocol, which I've been kind of neglecting because I've been like, well, Breach Protocol, we don't really need that. Um, however, some of these are going to be worth investing in in the future. So, for example, um, upping the amount of uh, eddies that we can get from access points by 50% is going to come in handy. Uh, putting cameras to sleep, putting turrets to sleep, data mine demons so we can pick up more quick hat components. And uh, But... Something that I've realized whilst uh, going over some of the footage that I've taken in past episodes, I've been missing so many access points. So this will automatically highlight nearby access points for us to get quick hack components as well as uh, a few more eddies in our pocket. So that should settle us uh, that should set us up quite nicely in the eddies department but also in the combat department as well with uh, with blades here there were another couple of things that i took a look at for example let me see was it assault i believe yes because this affects rifle types and if we're going to be working the um, necromata tech sniper rifle into our build which I, I think is definitely the way forward then uh, this could be useful but um not the priority at the moment. We seem to be uh, pretty kick-ass with that thing, actually, as as we uh, as we proved a couple of episodes ago when we took down Sidorova in the uh, in the underground warehouse. In fact, I wonder if she's still <laughs> writhing around on the floor down there. Anyway, as well as that, uh, I want to take a quick look at my inventory. So uh, we picked up another. Let me see. Let's go to Blaine and uh, grab our, what's it called again, Tanto. We grabbed a second Tanto whilst we were in that underground car park, so that's worth equipping. Now, what I'd also like to do, if I go to over to the crafting side of things, is uh, there's not a lot that we can actually work on at the moment. Um, in fact, it wasn't crafting I wanted to look at. It's upgrades. There's not an awful lot we can do. I'd like to upgrade my armor at some point, but we don't have the components. 
Uh, we don't have a single legendary upgrade component uh, about our person, so uh, a lot of these require that, and we were short on the epics as well. But what we can do is, as we did before with our primary Tanto, is upgrade our secondary Tanto. Now, that's not uh, that's not been a huge improvement, I'll be honest. It's gone from 32 damage, I think it was, to 34 damage. Bearing in mind the DPS won't take effect because if we're throwing these things, it's a one hit. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. And um, yes, I think that is about it for now. So just taking a look at the map and planning uh, what we we're going to do. So we, we were on our way to this assault in progress last time, weren't we? Uh, but we got caught up with some maelstromers around here, just outside Cassius's place. So um, hmm. uh, let's, uh, let's make another attempt at going to this assault in progress. In fact, looking at it, hold on. Is that assault in progress? It's just down the way from that XBD running warehouse where the father and son are currently wallowing in the pools of their own blood. Um, I thought it was on the same premises, but it looks like it's just down the way from it. So let's head on over there. And uh, this time from now on, we're going to take a moment to think about our approach to each... Uh, why is it sending me that way? It's quite clearly on this road. Our approach to each situation. Wait, oh, I see, because it's underground. Always trust the sat-nav. Yes, yeah, so uh, working out people's weaknesses and uh, actually looking at our loadout... Also, I need to make a point, and I'm awful at this in pretty much any game that I play, so it's not just uh, it's not just limited to Cyberpunk. Making sure that I'm using appropriate buffs and items and uh, things of that nature. So making sure that we're actually using our um, our food and drink wisely. Ooh, slow down, pedestrians. Ah, oh, back at the quaint market. Wait, is our Biku buddy still there? I couldn't see. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's just past that warehouse. This is where we took down that father-son pair. All right, here we go, just here on the right. <laughs> I just remembered, I I hopped into this, uh, I hopped into this car. I don't even have a clue if it's mine. Is this my car? Is this my Galena? Hold on, let's have a look. Uh... No! <laughs> no, it's... it's... no, is it? I think it is, actually. I think this is my Galena. The white car indicator, I think, is still my, um, my original car that's, uh, not supposed to be there because we haven't seen Delamain yet. But, uh, so we somehow managed to accidentally call him. Here we go. Right, it's an NCPD job. Uh, assault in progress, so... Let's have yeah. a little... Oh, shh. It's going somehow. What? Sure. On it. Thanks for thinking of it. Now that doesn't sound like maelstromers. I think these might be scavs, you know. Let's see, what do we got? Blazer. No affiliation. Uh right. I don't know who these guys are. Let's breach protocol anyway. Take a take a little look. Uh, right again, buffer. Grr, we need that street cred. We need to cyber it out. Okay, uh, let's take down. Let's go for ice pick. Nice and easy. Five 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 five. Cool. That reduces ram cost. Now let's ping you and tag you at the same time. See who we have. Hey. Uh. Two. Just three guys? Okay. Now, let's get a bit of a bearing on uh, what these guys are about. So, uh, so level 11, but he's weak and is an unaffiliated corpo. This is really confusing. Who the hell are these people? So, are they just guns for hire? Unaffiliated corpo. Uh, they're wanted. Combat stims. And this is another blazer. Unaffiliated corpos. I don't know who these guys are or, or what they're doing here. Oh, hold on. Is that someone else? Oh, there's another one stood past this guy. Dirk Brooks. Well, you're named. Now, that's interesting. Usually, if people have a name, they've got a story. So, 
Uh, it looks like Dirk is facing away from us, but I'm a little bit worried about creeping up and grabbing this guy. Um, just in case Dirk turns round. Uh, screw it, who dares wins. <laughs> Says the guy that wanted to make sure he was uh, planning things properly. Oh, the other guy's on the phone, so Dirk's on the blower at the moment. Right. Let's, uh, let's non-lethal take down this guy. Like I say, I'm a bit confused as to what their deal is. It's kind of weird. Uh, some moonshine and a bit of food. Is there anything... Is there anywhere around here to store, uh, a body? There isn't. Okay. Sure, I had no plans anyway. Let's just put you around the corner here, just to make sure you're well out of sight. And see if we can't listen in on this guy's conversation to try and gather a bit more information. The other two guys at the far end don't seem to be moving, and this fellow is, uh, is deep in conversation, as I say. Hey. Oh, shit. Wait, who are you? Nils Dahlberg. Well, he's injured. Uh, he's injured, but presumably conscious. Is he going to see me if I get in the way? Oh, I've just realised that fellow over there is on the move, so... Oh, that's okay. He's just pacing back and forth. Why are they rifling through trash? I'm so deeply uh -oh. confused. This fellow's wearing a Militech... Uh... Wait, are they Militech? Are they defectors? Uh -oh. Right. Hey. I'm a little bit worried that the guy on the floor, even though he's injured, grievously by the looks of things, uh, is going to start screaming if uh, we get too close. Can we distract? Ah, here we go. Awesome. So, Dirk, was it? He should be distracted by that. What the hell? Uh, damn it. Got caught. <laughs> Back straight into the bin there. I've got a feeling that fella might still be able to see us even there. Right. No, we're good. Let's pull you around the corner here. And again, non-lethal. Okay. Have you got anything on you? Yes, you have. Awesome. I thought he might have something on him. Conversation between Dirk and Tim. Was this guy Tim? Uh, that's a floodlight. Blazer, no affiliation. Wait, you had a name just now. Interesting. Okay. I'm most confused. We've got some counterfeit documents. 800 eddies. Oh, thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. And, uh, what's your name again? Dirk Brooks. Don't mind if I, uh, take a look at your conversation with Tim, do you, Dirk? Right, let's see what we got. Tim, we've got problems. Nils took a few rounds. That's the guy on the floor over there. Nils took a few rounds in the back and I can't stop the bleeding. We need evac now. See what I can do. You'll see. Just send a fucking car. You have the docks? Yes, we have the fucking docks. Well, <laughs> I've got the fucking docks. Thank you very much. Good. Just make sure they're secure. Oh, I see where this is going. Nils is dying in my fucking arms at the moment. Yes, you said already. Hold on a little longer. Wait, working on it. Oh, these guys are Militech. These guys are Militech. They've obviously sort of just come back from some operation that went wrong. Nils has caught a bullet and is uh, currently on the floor writhing in agony and whoever tim is presumably some sort of dispatcher doesn't seem to give a shit he's only concerned that he's got the documents the documents that are now in my pocket right now i'm interested to know what they're doing over there what's the deal with nils though is he gonna call out hmm i can't grab the guy wait is his health decreasing i'm sure his health was higher than that just now Shit. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to deal with it, I guess. I think Nils was uh, female, actually. So she... Uh, I, I, I suppose I've kind of done her a bit of a favour. Put her out of her misery. Now, is this person going to stay still? I thought he was on the move there. Oh, crap. Don't get up. 
Yes. And you there? You're coming with me. Ooh, he's checking a body on the floor. Who might that be? That doesn't look like a Militech body. Right. Um, let's just very quickly ping. Just to make absolutely certain that nobody else is around. No, it looks like the coast is clear. A smooth operation! At last, a smooth operation! Oh, that's been a while. Max Dark. Let's see. General crap. Right, who is this? Okay, can't scan this person. They've got an access code, though. Okay. Top secret data to be read in Corp HQ upon receipt of one-time access code. If this document has been lost, the finder is obligated to destroy it immediately or face a monetary fine and or death. Uh, ooh, right. So, who are you, dude? You don't look like you're, you don't look like sort of a homeless person. You, uh, I mean, you're a little bit sort of beaten up, but <laughs> you're lying in a pool of your own blood. Understandable, I guess. So either this is some homeless person that stumbled across that data and got mowed down for it, or this is some sort of undercover Militech agent, or even a an opposing agent. Perhaps he's Arasaka. What have we got in here? Uh, right. Oh, 3,000 eddies. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. We've got a Lexington. We'll take that. That's a very uh, nice little paint job on there. Job complete. Oh, we got transferred 1,200 eddies by the NCPD. A further 3,000 from this case. Don't mind if I do. This is a very heavy duty looking case, actually. Just do not open on it. Right. Um, let's have a look. Patent number 444-3-45. Data encrypted. Enter key to access. Well, well, well. Let's have a look. Uh... So shards, right? So that was that was called patent. What was the other one called? Oh, top secret information or something, wasn't it? Oh no, I'm gonna have to search through and find it. I wish it would. Oh, I, I do wish that uh, those sorts of things were marked. Oh, here we go. Access code. Right. Top secret data. That was the one that was on the body. Um, I wondered if that could be decoded, but it doesn't look like it. Let's see. Patent number four 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 dash three dash four five. Oh. Nuts! Enter key to access. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> we, we've got the access code, but it won't let us do the thing. Hmm, well, that's slightly disappointing. I wanted to, to uh, dig a bit deeper and find out what's what. Oh well, uh, guess my, uh, my curiosity will have to remain unsated for now. Right, let's have a quick look around. Let's see if, um... Oh, marvellous. Right, now hold on. I took the... Hmm. Why is that not being brought to my attention? I took the perk that's supposed to highlight access points. There's an access point on that. And it's not highlighted anywhere. I mean, it's appearing on my minimap now. Oh, and it's staying on my minimap now. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Why didn't it do it before? Oh, you've got to be within a certain range. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's about sort of 10 meters or so. Yeah, we can live with that. That's very handy. So we can uh, keep our eyes open on the minimap to see when one of these things appears. Cool. Let's get some eddies. Now, let me see. What are we after? Can we do a combination? We can definitely do one and three. Uh... I don't think we can incorporate two into it. Well, one and three should get us about 400 or so eddies. That's not nothing to be sniffed at. Can we pull it off? So we need E9, BD, E9. E9, uh, E9. Yes, there we go. BD, E9. Lovely stuff. I'm going to say 408 eddies. Let's have a look. Yes, 408. God, I've been playing this game too long. Okay. Right, where are we headed next? Ooh, I'm all excited! It actually worked and I didn't... I didn't even die! Okay. Calm down, V. Um... Now... We do have... Mm, a danger moderate suspected organised crime activity. It looks like... Let's run the filter to jobs. So these are Regina's jobs. 
Uh, and these are open world jobs. So, I was about to say, it looks like this is the last NCPD job in the area. There's a couple more, though. But, uh, yeah, let's head over to this. So, we need to head back through... Uh, we do actually need to follow the road on this one, don't we? Because we're this road here is a level or two lower down than the main road there, as we found out before. Come here, Galena! Here you go! Right, hop on in. So let's see if we can't harvest one or two of uh, of these sorts of jobs. This would be interesting. Um, I'd like to take on one or two of Regina's little side jobs as well. Because uh, I think they're a little bit more lucrative in terms of street cred. And street cred's my main objective at the moment because I really want to try and get my hands on a new cyber deck before we... Uh... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Out of the way, you roadhog. <laughs> I really want to get my hands on an upgraded cyberdeck before I get stuck into too many bigger jobs. What the world? No. No. Wait, hold on. I wanted to just pass up on that because... Uh... <gasps> Scavengers! Scavengers! Oh, yes, let me at him. Right, I wanted to pass up on that because I thought it was Maelstrom, and they're the ones who uh, kicked my behind at the end of the at the end of the last outing. Mainly because there's a Maelstrom car right there. Weirdly enough. Right, let's see if I can't work out what's going on. So this guy, presumably, oh god, dead body there. Presumably, this guy uh, owns the car. He's being held up. That guy looks like he's about to uh, pummel his face in. No. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> What's that about preparation? Oh my lord. I was trying to... Oh, at least he got away. Oh yeah, definitely scabs. Whoa! Right, let's, uh, let's get away from the person with the machine gun. I'll tell you what, this is actually going better than it was looking five, five or ten seconds ago. Hmm, let's... Uh, Let's hold down the right key now, or the right button for uh, for quick hacks. Ass is in gear. Stop fucking around. Oh wow! She got a, quite a few shots off then, but we still bested her. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, can't quite. Oh, did did I kill her? Is she dead? Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's see what the story was here. So who's this poor sap? Oh, we can't scan her. Presumably, I mean, it's probably just a game limitation, but presumably, um, if you can't scan them, I would guess that means that they're... Uh, we've got 44 eddies. What's that under there? Oh, just a weapon. More eddies. Um, presumably, that means that they're cyberwares completely fried from the attack. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Many beverages. Oh, it's really going down the rabbit hole now. Let's, uh, hold on, there's a box there. What's in here? Uh, PCB earrings. That was well worth it. Uh, so... Right. That's, uh, that's that then. I'm very confused as to why there's a Maelstrom vehicle parked here, though. When it was scavengers accosting the, uh, the poor gentleman. One more try. One more try. Let's see if we can pick this up. What is it? Ugh. See, this is the problem. I'm one of those people that just hoards everything they can find. Um, although I might pass on a severed leg. Let's see what we have here. Grenades. Ooh, that's a point. We need to craft more grenades, don't we? Quite desperately, actually. Because um, we're pretty much completely out, I think. Where am I looking? Here we go. Grenades. Yay. Uh, how many... Oh, my goodness. We could... We could craft loads of them. This is one complaint that I have. I may have mentioned this before. Apologies if I'm repeating myself. But this is one complaint that I do have about the crafting screen. Especially with things like grenades. It would be lovely if you could see how many of the things you actually have on you. Uh, let's see. 
So, okay, I've only got one frag grenade. Let's craft another... Uh, let's make it a nice round number. Let's craft another... Nine of the things. One... Oh! Oh! Wonderful! Hold on, I didn't think that ha appeared before, did it? Right, okay. Yay, ten grenades. Wonderful stuff. So... I'm a bit confused about that dialogue that popped up then. I don't remember seeing that before. Oh wait, is there another Tom's diner? I thought it was only the one. Hmm. Okay, let's head onwards and see what this NCPD call is. So that little side distraction. That, <laughs> that entire battle could have gone so far south. I, I did not mean to toss a grenade. I was trying to activate my cyber deck and, uh, and try and get a bead on those guys. Scan them, find out a bit more about what they're about and uh, try and work out a tactical advantage. And still, I just threw a grenade their way. Oh, hello. Dispatch. Calling all NCPD subcons. Yeah. Suspected organized crime activity reported over on Richmond Street. Intel indicates Maelstrom gang members dealing in illegal stimulants in the area. Oh, we got Strom. They're led by Tom Ayer, a.k.a. Emir, a known serial killer. Night City authorities have offered a reward for neutralizing the group. Tom Ayer? Oh, hello there. Who are you? That's, that's a civilian. Seriously? Okay. Uh, right. I did notice there was a big turret stuck to the wall uh, over there. All right, suspected crime. Hello there. All right, we have ourselves hmm, a Maelstrom Code Freak, which is their equivalent of a Netrunner. Uh, let me see. So, Code Freak Maelstrom. Uh, okay, level 11, sort of normal toughness. Immune to bleeding, burning, headshot damage, assault weapon. Okay, let's breach protocol. See what we can do here. Ooh, we might be able to pull off boat. No, we can't. <laughs> Damn. If we could have started with a 5-5 along the top here, we would have been all right. Uh, let's see. Mass vulnerability would be very nice, but it only lasts three minutes, and I haven't scoped the joint out yet. So, in fact, yeah, I haven't scoped the joint out. Let's exit for now. Oh, is that going to alert him? Ugh, I can smell yes, fear. it is. Oh, they've got robots. Why have these guys got robots all of a sudden? Right, so backing out of that quick hack was a bit of a mistake. They should go back. Come on out, you little chicken shit! They should go back to their normal routine shortly. I did whoa shit. Okay, we've got uh, we've got a stromer right here. Who are you, fanatic? Alrighty, uh, we could silence burnout. We can't ping. That's annoying. Target's not hackable. Anyone on the same network? Nope. Hmm. What is that, actually? Wait, no. I'm trying to target that thing there. Okay, whatever. Let's wait for her to move away. There we go. She's headed back to regular patrol route. I think. Yeah, who? Nah, he's ascended. Oh, what the Any... fuck do you want me to do? Any cameras? Nope. Mm -hmm. Right, she's a problem. She needs to move away. And then we can poke our head around the corner to see sort of who's over that direction. Please move. <laughs> Let's see if there's anyone else stood behind uh -huh. her. No, it doesn't appear to be. Go away. <laughs> can I, can I, s oh, I can hear a camera. I can't see the damn thing, but I can hear a camera somewhere. So as soon as she moves, no, she's not going to move, is she? Can we even distract on here? Yes, we can. Right, let's do that. At least that gives us an opportunity to poke our head around the corner. I don't like it. Not one bit. Right. Are we clear to follow? Kind of, sort of, maybe. Let's just run ping. Whilst we take care of this young lady. Don't you twerk in my face, you salty minx. Right. Uh, 
<laughs> and of course the ping's expired. Wonderful. So. Goldy looking chain from the loot. Here we are. Right, let's ping again. And actually pay attention this time to what we've got where. We've got a, a robot over there. The Maelstrom have themselves a bot? What? Hmm, quick hacks increased. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's like six or eight of them over in that direction. I don't like that very much. Okay, let's camera control. We seem to be okay here. We're out of the robot's field of view and the uh, the runner upstairs can't see us. In fact, the stairs here, we could, uh, we could sneak up and take him out. That's not a bad idea. But first of all, let's take control of this camera. Right, speaking of revealing yourself. Uh, we've got a strummer here. Uh, another one there. Another over there, standing guard. Our robot buddy. It looks like that might be it from this angle. Oh my goodness, look how many cameras we've got. Blimey, how big is this place? Oh. So we got another one there. What's that? What even is that? A coffee machine. <laughs> All right. I thought it was some sort of uh, equipment for making chemicals or drugs or something. Nope. Coffee machine. You male strummers always hit the hard stuff, eh? Oh, blimey. This is high. Getting vertigo. Aha. Another one. Hmm. Right, any more for any more? Can't see any. Any obvious targets here? It's quite a big open space, this, isn't it? This is going to be interesting to navigate. Can't see any more strummers. Oh, <laughs> he says. Peekaboo. Uh, oh, we should be checking the gantries up there as well, shouldn't I? Is this... Wait. Oh, my days. Wait, where am I? Oh, there's another one. I'll tag you. Where's the robot? Oh my goodness me. I think I'm all the way over there. That far tank that we can just see above the rooftop. I think I'm all the way over there. We're going to be here all day. <laughs> oh, hold up. What's that? Something is scanning over there. Is that a bot? Might be worth keeping an eye on that to see if that's something scannable. There we go. Yeah, it's another robot. Goody gumdrops. Why can't we tag you? I wish to tag. Allow me to tag. Hmm. Won't let me tag that bot for some reason. That's bizarre. Hmm. Uh, ooh, there's a road access ramp here. Okay. Oh, this? Right. We're just over there. Somewhere. Yeah, we're, we're hidden sort of behind there. That's where we're just taking that lady out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we've got them all. And surely we can uh, we can learn to... Oh, God. You're getting close. Oh, no, you're not. You're still over there. Right, awesome. Uh, <laughs> this might be a tricky endeavor. I think what I might do is just hop over here and up. Take it nice and slow because we are on a metal gantry. Let's prepare just in case. Don't see. Shit. Whoa, hold up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Try and take one guy down discreetly. Hmm. Nobody seems to be following me. Did we get away with that? Surely not. Right. <laughs> They're in search mode. I think we just about got away with that one. Uh huh. We're, uh, 
we're going to have a little bit of a challenge on our hands here, guys. So, we've not had a notification that a body has been found. So nobody has attempted to come up the stairs. Oh, wonderful. We've got a robot and a stromer directly below us. Okay, this is fine. We can deal with this. Divide and conquer. We'll be all right. Uh... I think we're going to have to tackle this little job in the next episode, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If uh, you would like to leave a comment or uh, hit the like button, then please do so in the usual manner, and I will catch you in the next one. And um, hopefully you get our stealth on. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.